Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can host your HP project uh, for free on Pi Award Space. So, go to your favorite browser and type here Award Space and hit enter, and you will find awardspace.com. Here you can see awardspace.com. So, click here in the first link and it will actually take you to the awardspace.com official website. Here you will find the option called sign up, where you can see just click here in the sign up and here we have option Google and Facebook. So just go with your Google account and select the Google account which one actually you want to use for the sign up. And here you can see we are success and in dual you are successfully signed in. Okay, so it will actually redirect you to the control button. So we will go for sometimes say can see and it's really the loading currently. So we have to wait for sometimes and translate it to English if you had any other language. So translate into English. And is a uh, translated, and after that we will actually close it. Okay, and here is the control panel. So I can actually understand this language, so I will translate it into English. So I will actually select here for English, and I will translate it. Here you go. Now, if I zoom it, here you can see in the control panel. If I hover on it, I'll show you. Uh, if I hover on hosting tool okay so we have domain manager so we have file manager also so we'll actually go with the domain manager at first okay web manager then domain manager you click here domain manager and it will actually took us uh, to this space now here we have to actually uh, go for the this option free subdomination okay and here we have to give a subdomain so let's say i will say here uh, this uh, domain name and i will actually check that the domain name is exist or not and if it is not exist, so it will actually take this domain as a subdomain. So I will actually, and here you can see the submission, okay, sorry, subdomain is added, okay. So now, uh, this is the domain I have, and these are the domain also I have created for tutorial purpose, and this is my domain currently I'm using. So, so now, we will actually uh, go with the files, so uh, click here, open files, and if you open the website, uh, there will be, I mean, their default page. So we are going to show our page, I mean our project. So we'll actually go to the directly open files, okay, here. And here uh, we have this option, okay. Now you will find something like this. And here we'll actually upload our project. So we'll click on upload and here we'll actually drag and drop the project. And now we'll drag the project here on drop it here. Okay, now we'll click here upload. So our all file uploaded successfully here you can see right now we have to upload our database right so let's go for the database now hover on uh, hosting tools so you can see we have hosting tools here just hover on it and uh, go for the mysql databases okay so we have to actually tier the database at first so mysql databases And here you can see you have no database, so you have to actually create database. Lately, if you go your uh, project directory and if you go for the db.php and if you open it in a notepad, here you will find uh, your project one. There you can see restaurant on it. So restaurant underscore db. You can use this or maybe you can actually create here a new name. Uh, so just go with the new name and here a password. Uh, let's generate a random password. So it repeat this and we'll open a notepad here. And we'll keep the password here, okay? So let's just go there and kill this password here and let's paste uh, the password to confirm database password okay and without saying here you can see if i open it ah, okay again the chile and i did yeah no problem and then version will be 8 so here we'll set database creation and here you can see database created successfully now uh, we had a database here you can see this one now if we go directly for the php my admin and uh, now it will actually took us to the PSQ my and me here you can see and here you go yes so we got this now here we have to actually import our file right SQL file because we have the SQL file here you can see if I go back here you can see we have the SQL file this one underscore db SQL file so we'll actually upload it here because uh, if we don't do this otherwise we have to actually create all the tables so we are, we are not going to do this. So we are going to import it. So click here import. And then choose the file. And this is the file. 
we'll open it here and we'll store down your reboot and we'll actually say a input here we go now we'll go for the structure and here you see we have all the trees right now what you have to do we have to actually go for the file and uh, this is our domain name right so if we open the files right click on it or just press ctrl and then click here open files so it actually took you to this space and here you had to just type actually translate into english so translate and after that you will find here db.php just right click on it and uh, edit this so and uh, open and edit here we find an option uh, if i right click on it and here you can see open and edit so here we have to change a little bit and that is like first we have to change the server so let's go here you can see and uh, this is our server so just copy this okay and add the server here okay and you have extra t here so remove it after that you have to view username and that is this one so copy this and go here and paste it here basically we have uh, when we actually create our project in localhost and that is the reason actually the username was by default root and password is none but here we are uh, currently in hosting uh, we have to actually uh, go through as their rules right so this is the database name so we have to actually copy it also and we have to change the database name also here okay and after that we have to give the password so what is the password mm, let's just go for the password here and okay so there is no password but we have actually copied the password here so we just have to copy from here and we have to test it here okay the password section okay test it here you go now we will actually save it so i will save the option yeah. and here you can see the save option so you have to save it so say save fine saved now we can actually access uh, through our domain so what is the domain here you can see this is our domain so i will copy this and so we'll go to the new tab at the pen uh, our i mean we'll paste our domain here and we hit enter and here is our project now we can actually uh, register here also and we can go through the login process also so let me check the user mm, all the users so let's go to the browse So this is our database, right? And here we have users tb. And here let's say I want to log in as Tanvir. So this spell Tanvir at gmail.com and password is one book three. You can log in and you can see currently I can log in and now I can actually see all the others. Hey. So that's that's it. Now if I log out, you need to actually work. So basically it's working perfectly. Uh finally we actually mm, and we have actually successfully integrated our database file also, right? Dot uh, SQL files. So guys, that's it. Uh, this is how actually you can first your PHP project in our space uh, for free. I have shown you the database. Uh, I mean, how you can actually create the database and how you can import your dot uh, SQL file, right? Uh, it, with all the in in details, information, all the uh, value, existing value as well. So that's it, guys. I hope you understand and. Uh, Thank you so much for watching this video.